Take a look. Live Doppler radar still very active at this hour. The afternoon snow has now become freezing rain in many areas, but that could cause some dangerous spots out on the road. If you do not have to go out tonight, just stay home. Welcome to the News at 7, everyone. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Denise Coke. Well, many needed shovels earlier, and you'll want to keep them handy because the snow is expected to pick back up again overnight. We have extensive live team coverage tonight. Our reporters have been out in the elements all day doing great coverage from Carroll County to Baltimore City. But we begin with Chelsea, Bob, and Meg tracking this system and what we can expect tonight. Chelsea. Hi, Rick. Hi, Denise. So, yes, it's been a mess of a winter system throughout the day today. We started out with snow. The snow piled up. And then that transition line was creeping ever so slowly to the north and west. Let me show you what's going on right now. A lot of folks saw a couple of hours of sleet and then plain rain, and some areas already starting to see some freezing rain as reported. But we have ongoing snowfall into Washington County and Frederick County now getting in on that transitional wintry mix. All the while, down in Southern Maryland, the Eastern Shore, dealing with just a plain old cold rain. We have winter storm warnings that are in effect, and they remain in effect through four o'clock tomorrow morning, and that's for areas north and west of Baltimore. Otherwise, we have winter weather advisories right along the urban I-95 corridor, and those remain in effect through 1 a.m. So, what can you expect by the time this is all said and done? I want to pass things off to Bob Turk. He's got those details, Bob. Yeah, looking back at the radar, there's, there's snow and precipitation all the way down into Kentucky. This we're not done with this yet, trust me. Around the bottom of DC area, before it's all said and done, even with snow and sleet coming back late, maybe one, two, or three inches. We've had some areas north of us already reporting more than six or so, but we look for basically three to six out north of the Beltway, six to 12 further north, and 12 plus up across Washington, Allegheny, Garrett County, southwest Pennsylvania areas up there could easily see over a foot of snow. So tonight we'll see the snow continuing to the well northwest of our region, maybe 70 to 80 miles, with a mix of rain. Snow, sleet throughout the evening, and some freezing rain as you head further north and west. We'll look for some freezing rain also as colder temps come back in. Could see as much as a quarter inch accumulated. And then back to snow for several hours. Could see an additional accumulation by 3, 4, 5 in the morning before we get up. So tomorrow's commute in the morning could also be impacted by this storm that's going on overnight tonight. Meg, let's look at some of the totals that have come in this afternoon. Of course, we'll be updating this throughout the afternoon and the evening. Meg? Yes, I do indeed, Bob. So we are live with the WJZ Mobile Weather Lab. We're here in Roland Park, and it is definitely a mess out here. So it started as snow a few hours ago, is no longer. We're seeing some rain. We've seen some sleet as well. Of course, we want to get you set with the current conditions here with the WJZ Mobile Weather lab. So, temperatures, we've been right around 33, 34 degrees. We certainly have noticed those winds picking up at times. So, we just had a little bit of a gust here. And yeah, we had that rain, sleet going sideways. So, temperatures 34.7. Snow totals here. So, Baltimore County, nine inches there for my friends in Parkton. Bloomfield, 7.7. .7. Manchester and Carroll County, six. Reisterstown, 7.4. So kind of a range here based on what we've seen as more and more of us, so we're turning over from snow to that wintry mix, but we know we're headed back for the snow. Of course, we'll take a look at the timing of that coming up in the full forecast. For now, I'm meteorologist Meg McNamara live with the WJZ Mobile Weather Lab, and I'll send things inside.